Hello everyone, this is Danish and this video today is about a service that we provide to our premium members but this time I decided that I'm going to put it on YouTube so other people can also take benefit from this if they have their own resources. I just want to give you a little summary before I jump into this uh, video. So right now basically a member will send us something like this. I have a job interview coming up and uh, would like uh, to brush up my skills, which labs and courses do you recommend I go through based on the following job description? So what, what happened is that, you know, our members usually apply for a job, they take our courses, but if maybe they're too new to our platform, they still maybe got some kind of uh, opportunity coming soon, which I made a video before. Uh, and then, you know, uh, because of the services, now one of our services are that we don't just create videos. We don't just like, you know, create our own videos. Um, most of our content that we provide is, yes, we have our own real world type of courses, but it takes a lot of time to create courses. So then there's some of the things that that's already built or there's a partner that offers, we don't create that again. We become an advisor and then because when someone pay for the premium membership, because of that, they get this type of service. So here's a perfect example. Uh, this is a very basic, uh, like, you know, entry level type of position. I don't know the title of this position, but this video will be used for many different type of descriptions that people are going to send us, uh, uh, mostly for the entry level position. So we, we, we create this video, uh, you know, after a few months just to update them. But usually there's not something new. It's mostly that the resources are new so then they can uh, follow uh, what, what I do in this in this video so then they can uh, you know uh, we can tackle this question right now so basically this video uh, you can see the first uh, let's go step by step first one first one is prompt response to request for technical assistant in person via phone and electronically now this is something more of like you know something that is a customer service type of thing but practically if you want to uh, you you kind of get something out of this that's what this will be the ticketing system and we explain a lot of different ways on how you are going to get ticket through email through ticket maybe a phone or something like that then I would recommend you to finish the course which is this one if you go down to the site and you have access which the member basically I'm talking to you have access to this help the sticking system course this is also a free course for people who would like to finish this they can take this course and there's a lot you can learn and that will take care of this type of uh, requirement uh, another one is diagnose and resolve the IT related hardware and software issues. This is very important one because you know in IT as an IT person they they look at you you're a technical person so you need to know a lot about troubleshooting. Now the things that I'm going to show you in this video you don't have to finish every single thing but try to finish uh, a lot of it because it will matter even when you start working in this job if you get this job hopefully. So where can you start? First, I will recommend you to start with theory. In troubleshooting, yes, you're like, oh, you know, your platform is about real world stuff. Yes, it is real world when we teach our courses and when we take our courses. This is for people who already know about theory and stuff like that. Remember, we say that we don't teach too much fundamental, which we have just uh, recently started with a partner. So that's where I'm going to take you right now that you have access to this partner portal. And when you log in, you basically go to course catalog and look for CompTIA A+. Now you can go to professormesser.com. It's a free course if people people don't have access to this they can actually go to that and then look at professormesser.com and then there is actually a troubleshooting section in that which I will take you in this course which uh, in this service which you already paid so you're going to go to the CompTIA 900 right here and then you will scroll down and you will see something about troubleshooting there's a lot of things about troubleshooting so I'm going to take you a little bit more down in this a little bit more and then we will see all of the troubleshooting stuff so I want you to start with a troubleshooting theory if you want to sometimes you know people can ask you a question about theory you know can you tell me something mostly not not a, not like a not like a you know a, a, a specific example can you tell me some of the what are some known theories about troubleshooting so look at this video and professormaster.com also have something like this so if you open his a plus is free and then you can see something like theory and stuff like that then I would I would I would want you to go over some of the RAID stuff, hard hard drive type of stuff, and then go to troubleshooting video, troubleshooting network issue, troubleshooting printer issues. So if you basically cover this four right here, they're good enough. But if you go down a little bit more, you can see something more about common stuff like uh, troubleshooting common PC tools, common PC security issues. 
then and then on the bottom it says common mobile operating system troubleshooting that's it you know this is this is where you can learn about uh, you know theory uh, lecture and then they will show you demo in this because you have access to it so I would definitely recommend you go over this and then you want to get practical you know if you want to get practical then you will jump into your lab access which we already gave you and the same course keep it the same one so if you go to the 229.02 a plus you'll go down and then I'll tell you where to basically if you go all the way down right here then you will see something like uh, troubleshoot Windows operating system errors, troubleshooting network uh, connectivity issues, uh, troubleshoot common systems problem. And this is an exercise given to you. And on the right side of this screen, you are going to be practicing. So this is a great way because troubleshooting is the main thing. And when it goes to when you when you uh, you know try to go for jobs, uh, they may they may hit you up with different type of questions regarding regarding to troubleshooting. Uh, so then you should be able to answer that. Now I don't want you to finish every single thing in here. Just go over it quickly. Um, then that that will be a good thing. Now moving uh, moving ahead. Now the work independently with assigned priorities and project schedule. This is a basic thing. You know, any anywhere you work in an environment, they're going to give you some projects, and maybe depending on what type of tools they're using, it could be like Trello or some other tools that they use. Don't worry about this stuff. That they that they will basically teach you this stuff. This is not something that this is not like an IT type of thing. It's just a job thing. You're gonna go there, whatever tool they use. Maybe it could be some kind of like a pro, uh, Office 365 planner, and in that they will give you a task, or it could be just an email. You know, somebody says, "Hey, I want I'm I'm giving you these four tasks, and you need to finish it." Uh, be willing to work outside of the standard business hours and as necessary. This is something. It's just your own thing, your own answer. You should be able to work outside that. Then that's how IT people work. So that's normal. Monitor company provided mobile devices for urgent issues. Um, I really don't know. I mean, I don't know why they put like monitor company provided mobile devices. Maybe that's that's kind of like you know if if a company gave me uh, an iPhone and I need to. Uh, you know, uh, I, I would be probably responsible. Uh, my IT people would be responsible for the company iPhone. Maybe I'll call them and say, "Hey, I can. I've got the new iPhone. I need to set it up." So on your phone, maybe go over. You know, some of the uh, you know the Outlook stuff, some of the email. You know, delete your email. I don't want you to delete the email. Email like remove the email from the setup and then add it back like Gmail or maybe create a new account in Outlook and try to play around with this type of stuff. Uh, you know, reset the phone uh, if you have a spare phone. Try to reset it and try to, try to learn mobile device troubleshooting and I also covered that in uh, you know in our videos which is kind of like the help desk course so if you have time make sure to go over that also uh, clear and professional verbal written skills this is basic you know if you're going to be working somewhere they want some type of you know a, a better English grammar stuff like that uh, you know I'm personally I'm not a I'm, I'm not my, my first language is not English so I use grammarly you know I, I try to fix my stuff so uh, still I'm struggling with it because I have I know like three four languages and that's where my you know thing is pretty weak in, in, in English area so uh, not 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 a bad thing in IT this is normal you know many of us you know work in different areas and that's normal so don't worry about that if your English is good then you're you know that's a good point right there bachelor's degree all that kind of stuff is like I said in my first video uh, for people who who are new to this 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 is totally it, it it doesn't matter because if you got at this point if you are sending me this you already you already got a response so I'm not even gonna go through this this a there's a variety of way you can get into the IT so for people who are watching this first time make sure you watch my first video which I'm going to share my playlist so the first video is for you experience supporting Windows 7 Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 now don't worry too much about Windows 8.1 now when they put everything like 7 8.1 and Windows 10 that's just that in any of this will work but try to try to get experience with the latest meaning in windows 10 so what you can do is again you can go back to your uh you know your uh learning uh, uh, uh sorry the the partner content i always forget this you can go to the partner content and then you can basically search for windows 10 and then learn what's new in windows 10 so if you type come here and just type windows 10 and when you search for it you see what's new in Windows 10 so go over that first and then for the practical stuff then there's a course that we also actually have it right now so the, the lab course so if you go to go back to your lab and then scroll down and then there you will see installing and configuring Windows 10 uh, if you're having trouble finding out 
installing and configuring Windows 10, you can always search for it. Just type Windows 10 in here, and then this is the course that you should be looking at Windows 10. And then the second one is actually also a new course, which is good too. So these two are going to be uh, something that you may be interested in to cover the operating system side of it. Um, so then moving on, you basic network connectivity troubleshooting skills, and that's something you have covered in the first one, the first one that we talked about, Diagnose and Resolve, and that's a lot of troubleshooting right there, so that should be covered. Basic spyware, spyware removal experience. Now remember, anywhere you apply, they're gonna have different type of requirements. So maybe they have something, they may ask you a question about this, that's why they put it in there, they may ask you a question about removing a, like you know a virus or something like that. So my recommendation for this is going to be uh, going to your uh, lab, which is right here, and then go on, go to go to the CompTIA A plus uh, again. So you have to remove the search, uh, and then you go back to the CompTIA A plus, and then here you can basically you know um, look into this one. Ident uh, identify security threats and vulnerabilities. Uh, this is actually pretty cool, you know, lab. So if you, you should, if you take that, that should take care of some something like that. You know, learning about uh, removing a, a wires or stuff like that. But there's there are many other um, videos uh, in even a uh, CompTIA Security Plus. So you know the, the the benefit of being a premium member is you can jump around different labs and you have so much access. So then let's say for example you go to the Security Plus, which is 501, which is a new one, and you come over here, then you will find a lot about different type of warranty abilities and then removing and you know stuff like that you don't want to spend too much time on and in, in, in different things over here try not to uh, move away from what is required in this job because that's going to become more security job so uh, try to stick to the only like installing an antivirus and removing a virus and updating security stuff and stuff uh, all that stuff uh, will will be beneficial for you so um, going back here uh, now it says extra on the bottom right here it says extra consideration given to candidate with the following skills this doesn't mean that you need to know every single thing in this extra area because the extra area if you look at it it's a little advanced not too advanced but some of some of the things are a little uh, you know some of the things that requires more knowledge so first one is just a normal remote support software uh, log me in go to my PC uh, zoom zoom is very famous now you should actually look into zoom Go ahead and register in the Zoom meeting. Uh, try to register yourself and and take a device. Make another uh, you know a meeting and try to connect to Zoom and try to learn that connection, the remote connection. Uh, and this this way you can tell someone about Zoom that you know you used it, you know about it. Um, so this area right here. I am going to basically quickly go over it because there's some of it is just like you just need to know about it. Familiar, familiarity uh, with the installation and configuring uh, of Windows Server. Um, here, this is this is like you know, it's like it's taking you to a next level. But if they want to know about servers, fine. You know, if you go to the help desk course. There's actually a, a video about operating systems, and in that we have covered Windows servers, install, install installation of Windows servers, and some of basic things about uh, uh, Windows servers. So let me show you quickly that that if you are interested in covering all of this area, which most of this is covered in the help desk course, I'm going to strongly suggest you to go back to our help desk course right here and try to cover some of the you know the major thing in this course because like i said to many people this is not a level one type of course it's level one to advance the way we design this course is to make you a system admin later on you're automatically becoming a system admin so some of the things are advanced in this course but it's it's it's, it's uh taught in a way that it's so easy for you to follow up. So for example, you can come over here, ticketing system is covered, communication skill is covered, advanced troubleshooting is covered, virtualization is covered, Active Directory, which is your last uh, one right here, says experience with managing Active Directory accounts. We actually have a full course on that, a very mini course, but a very powerful course. Uh, so if you go to documentation, every single thing that you basically see in this, is covered in that course but some of it that I show in the beginning uh, we didn't have this kind of resources three or four years ago so now we have it and you paid for that so that's why you should use that also to because you need that practical 
um, you know, learning. And here you don't, you don't, you won't see practical. You won't see labs with this. But this is such a realistic type of learning that this is going to give you a very, very, uh, you know, good advantage when you start talking in interview. Um, and then, of course, imaging. For example, if you come here, they talk about imaging. Uh, show you right here, imaging software such as WDS goes. Now we haven't covered WDS, but in your A plus you will see WDS. But you know, we have covered other ones like probably I don't know about Clonezilla, but some of the other ones that are also out there. Uh, so you will know the concept of imaging. That's what they want to know. They, they, they don't really care about, you know, exactly same thing that they have. But for example, Zen desktop, we haven't covered these things. But if you have some, some you know, experience with thin, uh, thin client that we have covered in a help desk course and some other type of, uh, you know, uh, learning, then this, this will uh, cover this extra area. So by taking the help desk course, you're going to basically finish almost 90% of the, the extra area also. And the requirements are already already went through. So you have a complete package uh, to tackle this interview. Uh, I hope you have enough time to cover all this stuff because if you don't have enough time, then it's gonna be hard. Uh, if you have very uh, short time, then then stick to the, the, the help desk course because that's kind of like you're learning, you're, uh, you're preparing. Uh, the way we prepare you is that, you know, you are gonna be doing good in an interview, but then later on you can come back to your resources because you have one year access to all of these labs, all of these learning, uh, you know, then you have enough time to, uh, you know, really, really do uh, best. And I hope uh, uh, you do great in this interview. And if you don't take this as a learning experience and go for the next ones and be confident. Good luck. Thank you.